Hi, good evening. My name is Father Rayapa. Today I'm going to talk about noise pollution. There is a big difference between noise and sound. Sound may be pleasing to the heart. Sound is good, but when it becomes noise, when it becomes too much, so it becomes a matter of concern. It becomes a problem. We all know <coughs> that sound is essential to our daily lives, but noise is not. Noise is generally used as an unwanted sound, a sound which produces unpleasant effects and discomfort on the human ears. Sound becomes unwanted when it either interferes with normal activities such as sleeping, conversation or disrupts or diminishes one's quality of life. Not all noise can be called noise pollution. If it does not happen regularly, it may be termed as nuisance. Scientists also believe that it's not only humans who are affected by noise. For example, water animals are subjected to noise by submarines and big ships on the ocean and chainsaw operations by timber companies also create extreme noise to animals in the forest. Generally, noise is produced by household gadgets, big trucks, vehicles and motorbikes on the road, jet planes and helicopters hovering over cities, loudspeakers, etc. and etc. Noise is measured in the units of decibels and is denoted by the dB. Noise which is more than 115 dB is tolerant. The industrial limit of sound in the industries must be 75 decibels according to the World Health Organization. Noise is considered as environmental pollution even though it is thought to have less damage on humans than water, air or land pollution. But people who are affected by severe noise pollution know that it is a massive issue that needs attention. Today in India we are exposed to all kinds of noises. People talk loud, they play their tape recorders and they uh, even watching television, the neighbor he increases volume and he is disturbing the whole neighborhood. So in India we have uh, plenty of noise pollution and Indians we don't know and we don't value what is silence. So that is a big problem in India. So anyway, the definition of noise pollution is very in short, noise is defined as unwanted sound. That is a simple definition. And noise pollution is an excessive and annoying degree of noise in a particular area, in your village, in your institution, in your temple, in your church, or in your school, in your family. Every day we pollute. Noise pollution, every Indian is aware of it. For example, traffic is a noise pollution, airplane engines, so this all costs even loud talking. So noise pollution effects, there are hundreds of effects on human life and also on the other forms of life, on animals, even some plants, they don't like noise pollution and uh, it is a big problem in our modern world. So the effects are, there are many, one is permanent hearing loss. Many people become deaf because of exposing themselves constantly to the noise. Then comes high blood pressure. High blood pressure. People normally live a happy life when they are exposed to noise. Their blood pressure goes berserk. High blood pressure. People 
every day go to doctors for the treatment of high blood pressure but the natural treatment is you live in an environment where there is no noise it is that simple we don't have to take any drugs or any medication just move out to your neighborhood or to your place to your environment where you are experiencing silence and serenity and also insomnia what is insomnia the sleeping problems many people can't sleep because of noise and uh, people uh, constantly lose their sleep and it becomes a sickness that is called insomnia unable to sleep normal human being should sleep at least 4 to 6 hours but because of noise pollution people are unable to do that so they end up in a sickness called insomnia and labored breathing and we find so hard to breathe because of noise pollution noise pollution puts enormous amount of pressure on human mind and human system and structure it is like taking 100 kilograms and putting on your head and walking so noise pollution is a kind of a pressure maybe 100 kilograms and you are unable to breathe when you carry some stuff that heavy you end up in labored breathing that is what we find in indian cities and stress today stress is a killer stress is the main contributor to the heart disease we all know that so it is not the food that we eat it is not the lifestyle it's not the habit after all we cultivate but it is unknowingly noise pollution that causes stress many people go to doctors end up taking medication even they undergo surgery but the simple thing is if you could avoid noise there is no stress there is no heart disease and you live in healthy conditions and also noise can alter our brain chemistry because human life is fully dependent on hormones that our body produces there are hundreds of hormones and uh, one is dopamine that's a pleasure hormone and in a normal healthy silent condition dopamine is secreted in our body and suddenly there is a noise the dopamine stops and cortisol the stress hormone begins to segregate so we experience stress so that is altered brain chemistry and noise can alter the hormone hormonal level in your brain and also the increase in crime rate people those who live in a noisy neighborhood they are prone to anger and violence even in olden days when they go going for war they used to beat drums big noise so that was instigating them to go and charge and kill other people so in india every day we live in anger and violent attitude because it is so much of noise at last it also causes permanent hearing loss so people permanent ear damage and people experience lot of sicknesses and uh, noise noise and nuisance it's not a big there is no big difference and they can cause other sicknesses like frustration irritability and it can cause damage to our comfortable life sleep interference can interfere with communication and also it interferes with our privacy invasion of privacy so it interferes with our enjoyment concentration meditation so lot of problems are come up because of noise pollution today we need to address that 
The extreme form of sickness is known as hyperacusis. That is a medical term. What is hyperacusis? Hyperacusis is a condition that arises from a problem in a way the brain central auditory processing center perceives noise. It can often lead to pain and discomfort. Individuals with hyperacusis have difficulty tolerating sounds which do not seem loud to others such as the noise from running faucet water, riding in a car, walking on leaves, dishwasher, fan on the refrigerator, shuffling papers even. Although all sounds may be perceived as too loud, high frequency sounds may be particularly troublesome. As one might suspect, the quality of life for individuals with the hyperacusis can be greatly compromised. For those with the severe intolerance to sound, it is difficult and sometimes impossible to function in an everyday environment with all its ambient noise. Hyperacusis can contribute to social isolation, phonophobia and depression. What is phonophobia? Fear of normal sounds. So even normal sounds people can't face. They can't adapt even to small sounds. That is phonophobia. Even talking little loud, they are confused. They become irritable. So that is phonophobia. Pope Francis, in his recent encyclical, Laudato Si, he talks about noise pollution. And he talks about our environment, ecosystems. They are living in peaceful conditions without noise. But humans, after the ascent of humans, the noise, excessive noise has appeared on planet Earth because of human arrogance, misunderstanding. We create and we interfere with other people's lives. If you want noise, why don't you put your headphones and listen to your music? Why do you put in a speaker, loudspeakers and disturb everybody? And it happens in every religious celebration. Religions cause more damage to the peaceful environment. Religions are the cause for the sickness called hyperacusis. Because of the noise, the way they pray, they shout, the way they put their loudspeakers, that is not a prayer, it is an harassment. So Pope Francis is writing so beautifully in the paragraph number 147 of Laudato Si about noise pollution. Pope Francis writes as follows. Authentic development includes efforts to bring about an integral improvement in the quality of human life. And this entails considering the setting in which people live their lives. These settings influence the way we think, feel and act. In our rooms, our homes, our workplaces and neighborhoods, we use our environment as a way of expressing our identity. We make every effort to adapt to our environment, but when it is disorderly, chaotic, or saturated with noise and ugliness, such overstimulation makes it difficult to find ourselves integrated and happy. What a powerful words from Pope Francis. I think in India, it should become a focus to do something about noise pollution. Probably we should uh, uh, include in our educational system and educate our children about noise pollution. In India, ignorance is the cause of all evil, isn't it? So we are ignorant. That is the reason why we create noise. And if you are educated, 
I think people can reduce noise in the neighborhood, in their homes, in their churches and in their religious celebrations. And uh, we can live in peace at the same time. We can allow other people, human beings, animals and plants to live in peaceful conditions because it is the right of each and every being to live in peaceful conditions. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.